My redshirt sophomore year, I had to apply to grad schools. I applied to Penn State's program here, the applied math program at Northwestern, and a program in computational mathematics at Stanford. I actually decided that I probably wasn't going to go to Northwestern or Stanford. Upon Stanford hearing this, I was given a scholarship worth $96,000 a year. When all the things came about with the sanctions and people leaving, it was important for him to say, I'm going to stay. So I decided to decline the offer, get my master's here, and finish my football career here. As soon as you come out, get a quick read on it, because that nose has leverage on the center. Right. You've got to get back Squeeze to back for him. Again. Yep. I'm not just a math guy. Right here. The big, big goal of mine is to make it in the NFL. That's, that's something that drives me when I wake up every morning. There's no doubt in my mind that he can play at the next level. Look like four down until he switches on to over. He's flexible, he's tough, he's strong. The type of player that he is, the type of person that he is, he should really try to keep playing football as long as he can. Football doesn't come as easy to me as math, but I really enjoy the challenge. I approach everything that I do with a lot of focus, a lot of dedication. And when my football career is over, I'll go back to math. I was in middle school, there was a kid who wrote a suicide letter, walked to a bridge, and in the note it said that at least one person said hi to me, I would have never jumped. Since that day, it's always been like a thing of mine. It doesn't hurt to say hi to someone. You never know, it could save someone's life. He learned from it. It became personal to him. That really taught him that life is precious and things can be very difficult sometimes. So make sure that, that you handle it the right way. When he comes in the room, he really lights it up. Being able to gravitate to any person in the room, it allows things to be positive regardless of the situation. It's rare that he has a bad day, you know, uh, if, if, if you're down, he's going to pick you up. But the leads to the more blitz, as Coach Manning would say, and a drop. Most, most of all, okay, good. I'm going to make this up last one hard. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go. He's one of those kids that's just fun to be around. He's always smiling. Nothing gets him down. I go to McDonald's with him because he, he, oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I say, you know, I'll ride with you. I'm like, I'll ride with you. I come back. This guy gonna grab the remote, start turning it. I said, bro, you just gonna turn? I said, I went to McDonald's to ride with you. That's you something else, bro. It's cool. I still love you, bro. When you see him smiling in interviews, when you see him smiling on TV, he's he's not putting on a show. That is who he is. I just flipped the switch on the football field. I mean, I gotta be a different guy. I wanna say hi to everyone off the field. I wanna be friends with everyone off the field. It's crazy because that Gatorade looked a little similar to something that looked like mine. Hey what? <laughs> it's you, bro. I see myself as just one of those young guys, you know, just trying to make a name for himself. And I mean, I'm just trying to stay positive. I'm just going to give what I want to receive in return.